Hi there, and welcome to ISO 27001 Information Security Management System. Information is a very important asset to any organization, if not the most important in many cases. So, like any important asset, it needs protection. There are many threats that uh, every organization in the world faces, and to protect sensitive information, you need a system. And this is what ISO 27001 brings, or at least what it tries to bring, a systematic framework to protect information inside an organization. In fact, we speak about two standards. It's ISO 27001 and ISO 27002. This course is focused on those two standards. The first one, ISO 27001, is a management system standard. It has a similar structure and uh, many similarities in requirements to other popular standards like ISO 9001 or ISO 14001. This one is for certification. You, as an organization, get certification to ISO 27001. But what is different uh, for ISO uh, 27001 compared to other management system standards? Well, it has an annex. It's called Annex A. And this annex uh, is a comprehensive list of control objectives and controls specific to information security matters. Uh, there are 114 information security controls which are commonly accepted as being, uh, as covering most usual aspects of information security in most organizations. The other standard, on the other hand, 27002, is a guidance, a guidance for the implementation of ISO 27001 controls from this Annex A. It's not mandatory to apply the guidance, but it provides uh, really good information for uh, organizations that intend to implement the controls. So, normally this course has two parts. The first one discusses ISO 27001, the management system standard. And the second one, which is bigger, discusses each control of uh, Annex A and provides guidance for the implementation of the control. After completing the lessons of this course, you will have a very clear image on um, what is ISO approach on information security and what are the requirements for an organization to implement an information security management system and obtain this ISO certification, which is very popular. Uh, most of the big organizations in the world, like uh, tech giants or uh, financial institutions or health institutions, they all have this certification. It's a credible certification, it's an important certification to have and to demonstrate that you treat information carefully, you protect information, especially information which is sensitive. That being said, Let's begin with the first part of the course about ISO 27001 and don't forget, I look forward to your feedback on my course. A few words about the information security concept. First, the definition of information security and let's go to Wikipedia and we will find there that information security is the practice of preventing unauthorized access, use, disclosure, disruption, modification, inspection, recording or destruction of information. This is the Wikipedia definition of information security. And there are three elements which are forming the CIA triad that are at the heart of information security. And they are confidentiality, integrity and availability. There are theories that say that other elements should be included, like non-repudiation or accountability, but during this course we will stick to the triad, CIA triad, because this is the most uh, widely accepted approach. So, confidentiality, first of all, 
means that the information is not made available or disclosed to unauthorized, unauthorized individuals, entities or processes. Integrity means to maintain and assure the accuracy and completeness of uh, data over its entire life cycle, from its creation until it is destroyed. Data means it cannot be modified in an unauthorized or undetected manner. And availability means the information is available when it is needed. For the information to be available, it means that the computing system that processes the information and the communication channel through which information goes are working correctly. Denial of service attacks that everybody probably should heard of are targeting this element, the availability, make the information unavailable. Now, some other concepts, some other definitions that we will uh, use during the, the course. Risk. Risk is the likelihood or, of something happening. The risk management is a process. The process to identify information security risks, in our case, evaluating the risks and dealing with them. Threat is anything that can harm an information asset. The threat can be man-made or it can represent a natural event. Vulnerability is a weakness that can be used to harm an information asset. And an information asset, since we discuss about this, is the content of valuable information and the hardware of software where it is contained, its container. Those are the most important uh, concepts of, uh, and definitions that we will use during the whole course. Before we actually start discussing about ISO 27001, the first part of this course, I want to make a short note about the ISO 27000 family. Because it's a family of standards and there are quite many standards in this family. ISO 27001, of course, is the most uh, recognized, the best known standard as part of this family because it is used for certification and as I mentioned earlier in the introduction, it specifies the requirements for an information security management system. ISO 27002, as I already said, is a guidance, a guidance for the implementation of controls in Annex A of 27001. But in this family, there are other standards also. They generally address specific aspects or topics related to information security. First of all, ISO 27000. It uh, is a general overview of information security and speaks about terms and definitions that are used in all other standards in this family. ISO 27003 is a general guidance on the implementation of an information security management system or an ISMS. ISO 27004 gives advice on how organizations can monitor and evaluate the performance of their ISMS. ISO 27005 is a guidance on risk management, while 27006 is a standard for certification registration bodies that provide audit and certification of ISMS. And since we discuss about audit, ISO 27007 is a guidance on how to audit an information security management system. In this family, there are also standards which are aimed at specific sectors, specific activities, like ISO 27011, which is a guidance for the application of information security in the telecommunication business, or ISO 27015, which is about information security in uh, financial services. There are other standards in this family, as I said, is a quite big family. You can find them all on the ISO website. And during the course, in some lessons, I will have some 
mentions about uh, standards from this family which are specific to the topic of the lesson that we will be discussing.